Well, darling, here we go. I told you before, George Russell, keep your great hairy hands to yourself. I never touched you, darling. Oh! Well, hardly. <laughs> Signorina Dragon, it was an accident. I'm telling you for the last time to keep your greasy hands to yourself. I was merely paying the compliment. In this country, let me tell you, it is not a compliment to go around pinching ladies. <laughs> Posterious! <laughs> Mamma mia! Hello, Glory, darling. It's me, Hot Lips. Yes. Hey, <laughs> eh? No, good news. An unexpected vacancy here. Cook housekeeper, lovely job. All day with me, and wages as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lucky girl. Now I'll talk him into it. What do you mean, who? Colonel Maynard. Yes. Yes, with a bit of luck, you can start tomorrow. Yeah, we'll turn right in. Oh, you lovely little thing, you. <laughs> eh? Now, those are kisses. Here, listen. <laughs> who the devil was that? Uh, uh, my cousin. Uh, your cousin? Yes, lovely girl. Warm-hearted, pleasant disposition, marvellous cook. Just what we need. I'm quite happy with the husky, but we've got. Yes, well, I, uh, I've been meaning to have a word with you about that, Colonel. Oh, yes, I've been here. Yes, uh, Sandra is gone. Gone? Yes, she left. Left? Yes. George, George, you've been at it again. How, now, how many times have I told you to leave the staff alone? It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, in the last, last three months, we've had... We've had 14 girls. 16. What? 16. Well, 16. Well, I mean, anyway, it's, it's an absurd situation. For heaven's sake, man, we've got a, we've got a bigger staff turnover than Selfridges. Hmm? <laughs> well, you've got to stop it, George. Stop it, for heaven's sake. Why, why can't you be more like the gardener? Hmm? You'll never have this trouble with Ralph. Well, I should think not. Huh? No bird in her right senses can fancy him. He's caked in compost. He hasn't had a bath for three years. <laughs> I mean, don't reckon I can smell him halfway down? Morning, Colonel. Mind you, mind you, Ralph. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. What's up with you, you big bunzy? I just told you. No, 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 just you two. Just, just uh, stop it now, stop it, stop it, stop it now. Go on, George, off to the, off to the agency with you. What agency? A domestic agency for a replacement. What about my cousin? Oh, my dear boy, we don't want any more of your cousins. <laughs> right, I'll take the car. Uh, 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 I'd right. rather you didn't. It started to rain. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't know what we're going to do about George. You know, I thought of putting, thought of putting bromide into his cocoa. <laughs> Used to work wonders in India. <laughs> what? What? Hmm? Oh. Hey, you know, what you need is to take on a woman George won't fancy. Oh, no, 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 you're asking the impossible. Where in the world are you going to find anything in skirts that George Russell won't fancy? Hmm? Taxi! <laughs> Cat! <laughs> That's right, darling. I got it. No, this is my taxi cab. Oh? What makes you think it's yours? Because I happen to be sitting in it. <laughs> That's very good. What do you think I'm doing? Waiting for a haircut. <laughs> and I'll thank you to be a bit more civil, you ignorant lout. Oh, that's nice. Look, Ma, I'm in a shocking hurry. Do you mind? I'm sure we can settle this in a friendly, amicable way. I have no desire to delay you at all. That's very kind of you. Don't mention it. Get out. <laughs> Get out? We'll ask him which one of us he stopped for. We'll do that. Sure. Where did you two spring from? Where did we? Oh, well, you had a bit of a surprise. I only stopped to get a bar of fruit and nut. <laughs> I have to be nibbled while I'm driving. Still, now that you're there, you might as well stay there. Shan't be long. He was a great help, wasn't he? Tell you what, let's share. Share? Yeah, share. Where are you going? You're not trying to pick me up, are you? Do I look the sort of bloke that goes around picking up birds? <laughs> Look, lady, all I am suggesting is that we share the cab, right? Right. Only keep your distance. <laughs> I don't want to rush you two lovebirds. 
Well, would either you or your wife tell me where you're going? Wife? We are not married. Oh. You don't need to say another one. I don't think you quite understand. Oh, I do. I'm a romantic myself. I saw Brief Encounter 15 times. I cried every time the train went out. Oh, don't be ashamed of your feelings for each other. Snatch your brief moments of happiness while you can. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll drive you slowly around Hyde Park. Give you the chance for a few more stolen moments. Don't get them out of it. No, don't go. Don't leave her like that. After all you've meant to each other. Please start raving mad. You see? Not him, you. Ah, ah, temper, temper. Look, matey, we have only just now met here in this cab. Oh, how romantic. I think I brought you two together. Oh, you've made my day. Is this cab for hire, or is it not? Thanks for reminding me. I've still got my flag up. Now, where would you like to go? Lancaster Gate. Oh, tight. Well, here we are. Twelve bob and a clock, two bob for him at seven bob each. Thank you so much for giving me a lift in your taxi. <laughs> you mean my taxi? Well, you did say that you was here first. So did you. Yes, I know. But I do hope I am big enough to admit when I'm in the wrong. Bye-bye. <laughs> Crafty old trout. <laughs> Premier Domestic Agency. Morning, madam. What can we do for you? The address? 10 Downing Street. <laughs> and the name? <laughs> of course, madam. How silly of me. <laughs> yes, W-I. Uh, tell me, madam, will this position be temporary or permanent? No, madam, I was not having a go, as you put it. <laughs> yes, madam. Of course, madam. Oh, apologize. Thank you. Yes, goodbye, madam. Excuse me, is anybody serving here? Oh, yeah. I was just on the... Yes, madam, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a proper situation. Have you anybody I can interview? Oh, I'm afraid you don't understand, madam. The employers interview you. Not if I can help it. <laughs> I think I'd better take down a few particulars. May I have your name? Dragon. Gabrielle Widow. Mrs. Dragon. No, Miss. Dragon is my maiden name. I prefer Miss Dragon. Miss Dragon. Your age? Is that absolutely necessary? <laughs> Spoil it for the record. 35. <laughs> and a half. Quite. And, uh, what was your last position? Manageress to a leading continental restaurateur. Why did you leave? Well, you could put it down to a clash of temperament, or you could put it down to the fact that that spaghetti-filled lecher couldn't keep his hands to himself. How very distressing for you. It was more distressing for him. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Now, uh, madam, uh, may I ask where you were prior to this engagement? The Duke of Bedford. Oh, the Duke of Bedford? Yes. Oh, for how long? Three years. Oh, well, that makes quite a difference. Three years, Duke of Bedford. Woven. Battersea. Battersea. <laughs> we was right opposite the power station. We was a free house, uh, lunches and hot snacks to order, and we did a very nice sausage on a stick. <laughs> it was a public house. Commercial hotel, if you don't mind. And why did you leave this commercial hotel? Too much washing up. My hands was always in water. It's a wonder I'm not web-fingered. I mean, look at those hands. Well, look at them. Do you know whose hands those are? No. Pianist hands. Mother always said to me, Gabriel, you have the hands of a concert pianist. You may not know it, but I have a 12-inch span. Amazing. That's two inches more than Eileen Joyce. <laughs> you, you play the piano, then? No, but if I learned, I've certainly got the hands for it. <laughs> Excuse me. Who do you think you are shoving in? 
Are you following me? Don't kid yourself. I was here first. You're always here first till it comes to putting your money where your mouth is. If I wasn't a lady of freedom, I would be sorely tempted to punch your crinkly nose in. Oh, yes? She's got a 12-inch spam. <laughs> I wonder you allow such riff-raff in your agency. Riff-raff? Look who's talking. Fix me up, same as usual. Cook housekeeper. I was here first. I think you'd better go. I think you'd better add. And no scrubbers. <laughs> I really must apologise, Miss Dragon. I'm afraid Mr. Russell can be rather... Uh... Vulgar is the word, but don't worry. I can cope with his kind any day. Sure you can. Mm, it's all a question of training. That's another thing Mother taught me. She tamed father. He thanked her for it. It's just the same with dogs. You've just got to let them know who's master. A remarkable piece of philosophy. Mm. Do you know, I think I may have just the position for you. Really? A Colonel Maynard is looking for a cook housekeeper. A Colonel? Retired, very sweet old boy, really, of a trifle eccentric. He pays well. I think you get along splendidly. And he does keep two other staff. Would I be in charge? But it isn't exactly specified. Do you know, I rather think it might work out that way. Good, I'll take it. Excellent. When can you start? <laughs> now. <laughs> Yes, two big pounds, it went right down the wrong way, that then. Serves you right. <laughs> Nicking the kernel of brandy, it, it's dishonest and it's deceitful. He's out. Well, that's different. Cheers. <laughs> the agency have been on the phone. Oh, yes. Fixed us up with a new bint. Oh, that's quick work, isn't it? It's a waste of time, I reckon. What do you mean? Well, you'll have got rid of her by the weekend. <laughs> Where is she? Where She's is on she her way now. Yes, good. I'll nip up and have a quick shave. <laughs> Don't forget to manicure your nails, you big pansy. Cheers. Have to shave lotion and talcum powder. Then he has the cheek to say, I smell. Come in. Colonel Maynard. Miss Dragon. That's right. You're expected. Come in. Thank you. I left my bags at the station. That's all right. George will get them. <laughs> She's arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see my credentials? Eh? <laughs> I have excellent references. Oh, you needn't bother about that. How are your dumplings? <laughs> I beg your pardon? I love dumplings. Oh, I don't think you'll have to worry about that. Oh, I think we're going to get on together, you and me. Oh, do you think that I will be suitable then, sir? Hey, I do. And you can even call me sir. There's no ceremony here. My name's Ralph. Oh, very well then, Ralph. Gabriel. How do you do? Now, is there anything I can get you? I am entirely at your service. What about a nice hot pot of tea? Oh, I wouldn't say no. Where's the kitchen? It's through there. Right, I won't be long. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, we've struck gold this time, Ralph, my boy. This one's for you. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Where is she? Hey, keep your hands off her. I haven't even seen her yet. She's mad, she fancies me. What's she like? She's the best we've ever had. She's in the kitchen making us some tea. Never mind about the tea, darling. Come on. Tea won't be a mess. Green clip face. Ah, oh, very much. May I? Oh. <coughs> if it's too hot, try blowing on it. 
If you're sure you're quite comfortable, I'll go and unpack. George! <laughs> you don't have to shout. I was not shouting. I was just making quite sure you heard me. Everybody in the United Kingdom heard you. <laughs> you don't have to shout. You'll know when I shout. <laughs> Have you taken my bits and pieces upstairs? If you mean those dirty great suitcases, yes. I put at least six inches on each of my arms. <laughs> if I have another load like that, I'll be able to touch my toes without bending down. <laughs> do stop complaining. The exercise will do you good. You do the odd jobs around here? Yes, he does. Oh, thank you. Right. The kitchen tap needs a new washer. The sink's bunged up and I want two new shelves put up the pantry. What would you like me to do after lunch? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll think of something. Excuse me, Colonel. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear what she called you? Hey, right, Colonel. Th that's right, she thinks you're the Colonel. She that's why she made you such a fuss of you. Oh, no. I thought she liked me for myself. Wait and see how much she likes you when she finds out you're only the gardener. <laughs> oh, blimey, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> We've got to get rid of her. How? I don't know. You could get rid of her like you got rid of the other 16. You're joking. They only left her. <laughs> they only left her to try it on. Well, there you are, then. No, not with her. Why not? Why not? No, I am not making a part of her, mate, and that is final. Oh, suit yourself, but either you make a pass of her or she'll be here forever. Wish me luck. <laughs> and all your own tea. Come in, who is it? Ah, yes, George. Just come in, see if everything's all right? Perfectly, thank you. Good, good. So, uh, you think you'll be staying then? I'm sure I'm going to be very happy here. That's nice to know. And don't you worry, George, you may have started off on the wrong foot, but you'll find that I am a very forgiving person. You'll be staying then? Permanently, I hope. Oh. Was there something else? Oh, no, just wanted to see if everything's all right. Thank you. So you'll definitely be staying then? What a little worrier you are, George. Yes, this house obviously needs a woman's touch, and I am just the woman for it. There we go. <laughs> All right, you and me tonight. Tonight? Small snog, my room next door, not twice. <laughs> Pardon? Wherever I go, I'm pursued. I suppose it's only natural, a warm, attractive woman like... But this time, I am not going to let it spoil a perfectly good situation. You mean you'll be staying? Yes, I shall be staying. And you will just have to learn to control yourself. And I, for my part, promise you, I will not be deliberately provocative. Uh, I will do my best to restrain myself. <laughs> well, at least this one doesn't smell of garlic. <laughs> yes? Goodbye. Hello. I'm Gloria. Come in. Not so very much. Yeah, this is a swinging old place you've got here. It's crazy. Well, uh, don't you want to know why I've come? Who cares? <laughs> Oh, no, Georgie! What are you Hello. doing here? I've come for the job. You phoned me about this morning. Got your wires crossed again, haven't well, you? I didn't say it was definite. Yeah, but I've gone and given me nervous of the laundrette. There's nothing wrong, is there? No, 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 nothing wrong. Just go in the kitchen, mate. Georgie, what yeah. are we Go, go, watch your oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, who's that? <laughs> that's our new housekeeper with a bit of luck. Have you got rid of the other one? No, that's going to be your job. Yeah, hey, oh, I'm no, <laughs> no good at seduction. Mind you, I'm game. Well, you don't have to seduce her. In any oh. case, it's too much to talk to you. It's not worth it with her. But what do I do? Fire her. Sack her? That's right, yes. 
She thinks you're the colonel. She can't help you. Yeah, yeah ooh, but... It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> colonel? What are you doing here? <laughs> I live here, you damn fool. Now, get out of the way. For <laughs> sake. Want a drink? You mind? <laughs> colonel, don't go, don't go in the kitchen. Well, the floor's what? still wet. God's name, what's going on in here? Go in the dining room. Hurry up. Go in there. Go in. Bring a drink in there. We've got to get this thing sorted out. I mean, the, uh, the Colonel would like a word with you. Oh, yes. In the lounge. He's in the dining room. <laughs> Don't move! <laughs> Won't you, Colonel? Yes. Very well, then. <coughs> Colonel? <laughs> Anybody call me? I thought... Nothing! Nothing! Don't give me a swinger. Don't you me right up the way <laughs> Sacked? Yes. But you said that I was perfectly satisfactory. I am sorry. Oh, well, I'm sure I'm not one to push myself. I never have been, but this is the very first time I have ever been given the sack. Oh, I am glad Mother isn't alive to see this day. <coughs> oh, the shame. Do you know, when I came here today, I thought I'd sort of come home. I found a haven. Somewhere I could... <laughs> so to put down a few roots. <laughs> and now the sack. Oh, well, I suppose I shall bear up. I managed to struggle along somehow. Please don't go. Stay. But you've just given me the sack. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Stay. Do you really want me to? Yes. Very well, then I will. <laughs> uh, yeah. I brought down your suitcases. What for? Well, your little... In she... She was looking for a haven. She, she, you're dipping a few rooms. Excuse me, I want to work with it. <laughs> now, this in here, turn it, bumps. I couldn't do it, George. You've got to do it. How long do you think I can keep them all apart out here? It's like playing musical rooms. And we've got the Colonel in the, in, in the dining room, Gloria's in the, in the kitchen, and we've got the dragon in the lounge. I mean, one false move and we're in it. Up to your scheming, Nick. <laughs> I think I'll go and prune the hollyhocks. <laughs> Mr. George Russell, I think I'll go and see if my job's still vacant. I've got to polish the kit. You all stay right where you are. <laughs> Colonel Maynard, I presume? How do you do? <laughs> now, would somebody mind telling me what's going on here? Yes, well, Colonel, it's very I will do the explaining, George, if you don't mind. I am Miss Dragon, your new housekeeper. Oh, are you? That's good. Well, now, uh, but, but who the devil was that other young woman? Hmm? Uh, she was my niece. She come here to help me get settled in. I do hope you're going to find me satisfactory, Colonel. Oh, yes, I, I think perhaps I might, Miss... Uh, dragon. Dragon? Yes, well, I knew a dragon once. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> anybody mind now if I had a drink? No, for heaven's sake. Thank you very much indeed. Well, George? Well, uh, thank you for helping me out. Don't mention it. <laughs> you're not as bad as you make out, are you? And neither are you, George. Deep down, I'm sure there's a lot of good in you. I'll cut it out. <laughs> it only needs somebody like me to bring it to the surface. <laughs> yes, well, thank you. I mean, I don't even know you're... Gabriel. Gabriel. Well, thank you, Gabriel. You saved me my job, and I won't forget it. No, George, you won't. <laughs> I'm not going to let you. <laughs>